Hey guys, thank you for listening here again. We're back here talking about CCIV. She's Mary recently made a video about breaking news and I want to talk about more into depth about the institutional buying of CCIV. This is this has been updated I think the 24th of February, today is the March 7th, so it's kind of late, but still we could take a general idea of how they're feeling towards the stock and the sentiment of the of, of CCIV. At the end of the day, we can see here that the inflows have been gone out 29, 47 mil. It's probably like a 22 mil. Yeah, 22, yeah, 22 mil. If I could do my, if I could do my numbers right, 47 minus 29, 18. Damn, I can't do the numbers. Oh, wrong, right? But still, 18 million dollars, probably more than than Q4 to Q1 to 2021. So we can see that uh, at least good investment is 800 thousand shares in it. Um, that's the most recent on the 24th of February. So that's in the probably like. Two weeks ago, that was on like on on Wednesday. That's when they reported. So meaning it was probably during the you know early February investments. But I was uh, that's in their portfolio a million shares in uh, RP investments, and then another one for one point one million shares at five hundred thousand. Meaning that they bought more shares, and also high tower invest uh, advisors. They bought more shares. They only have a hundred thousand, but still they have a million dollars in it, right? And they have Toronto down on the back, five million dollars, and they have all these two hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, two hundred shares, and they still hold. They're still holding them since February, since January last year. So meaning that there's big couple of people coming in here. They reduced it, right? But they incremented it. Their position. This is big right here. Basil, they have eleven mil, and then Alaska is eight mil. So we can see that it's going towards what a positive sentiment. We can, and probably there's more. If there's information more out there, up to date, go for it and let me know. Um, but we can see that there's very up uptrend with CCIV. They see a positive here in CCIV, and they're putting money, big money behind. And this means that they they see that this stock could have a good return on value. I think so. We can see here at twenty four eight twenty dollars over here Friday, and it closed at twenty four dollars seventy five six cents. Yeah, it got knocked down because of the valuation sixty four, but still. If this stock continues, if this stock has current valuation is at $37.50, so we're still under the valuation. Once we hit the high 30, that's when we should worry because it's going to come back, pull back down. Until we have another news of a sales of reports or, you know, of sales coming up. Anything the only one sells, that the valuation needs to go up. But until that happens, we're not there yet. We're still in phase two of the construction and we're still burning cash to make that happen. And cash wise, we're good. We have like two billion, in, I think, in cash. So at the end of the day, they have good, have good balance sheet going moving forward to make that happen. All this stock is about execution. For me, I like this stock long term, but still, it's gonna be a roller coaster ride, and like those in Disneyland and Six Flags. But it's gonna be a very fun ride. Uh, you can day trade, it's like, and you can see my video on how you can day trade this stock because there's a lot of sentiment, a lot of catalyst, up and down. But at the same, at this, at the, at the end of the day, it has a lot of volume, and that's what we need, and that's what we, that's what we need to make a, a day trade. So check out my video if you are interested in do day trading this. But uh, I'm gonna continue making the videos about CCIV and their um, upgraded news, anything dealing with CCIV. I'll, I'll, I'll update you. Um, thank you for listening. Like or dislike the channel and subscribe.